The Bible says, life begins once a fetus has taken its first breath. Nowhere does it say that life begins at conception. Amazing. Every word of what you just said was wrong. So hey, did you notice how she didn't quote any verses? Because uh, that's just one of those things I always notice when people try to talk about the Bible. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Oops. That alone kills her entire argument. But wait, there's more. And Sarah conceived. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. Moses' mother, Exodus, the woman conceived. We're picking up the pattern here. In God's eyes, conception is divine. First Samuel, and in due time, Hannah conceived. Matthew, behold, the virgin shall conceive. Luke, and behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived. And before you think you're allowed to think any differently, here's what the Bible says about thinking differently or agreeing with the practice of abortion. Romans 1 verse 32, though they know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, they not only do them, but give approval to those who practice them. God made woman for man, and the man is for woman, and women were put on this earth to do what men cannot do. So if you follow that woman, make sure you unfollow her. You know what? No. You know what? That's wild.